Right guys, just taking delivery of the, the latest Vito Pro Pack bag um, that I own. Uh, this is the Vito Pro Pack TP5B, which is the, the newer version of the TP4B. Um, I'll just... Here's the TP4B here. Um, I might as well throw in my TP4 as well. <laughs> I've got them all out at the moment. Um, so basically what we've got here is the, the TP4, TP4B. And this is new for 2020, this is a TP5B, which you can see the size difference. Um, now currently I have uh, this set up as a mobile fencing bag. And if you look if you look at my channel, you'll see all the other videos and my Vito videos. I've got videos dedicated to these bags. Um, so this is a mobile fencing bag. The TP4B is a mobile maintenance bag. Um, it's a watered down version of the Tech XL. And the TP5B, uh, I bought it specifically to replace this. Um, so the tools that I have in this, um, as the watered down maintenance bag, are going to go into this, plus some additional tools that I've I found I've needed um, over the past, uh, probably, I don't know, two months of, of using that. There are certain tools that you, you need as well, there's no room in here, so this is an ideal solution for me. Uh, but enough about me uh, and what I use them for. Um, we'll move on to the TP5B and just show you uh, some of the features. So, uh, first off, initially you can see it's a lot wider. Um, we've got five pouches here as opposed to four here. The two centre pouches here are a lot larger than these. Um, I mean, it's generally it's pretty much the same as this but basically wider you know slightly bigger um, so you get the tape loop with it as you do with the TP4B but you also get this is obviously a new it's like a nice uh, like a nice finish actually it's really heavy duty this is obviously a tape loop as well but it's a different style so the, I actually prefer these as opposed to the, the loop on the other side um, so I'll probably use this uh, it also has two heavy duty, I think it's hammer loops on the side, uh, velcro loops, so I suppose you could hold anything you want in there. Are there are even big torches or um, impact drivers, stuff like that, I'll have yet to try that. Uh, you know, in there and secure them uh, with a velcro. Uh, the handle seems to be it's a bit more heavy duty than the the old TP4B. Yeah, that one's quite slim. Uh, so you can see the comparison there. So it's definitely a chunkier handle, chunkier strap. Um, I'm assuming that's been done because the bag will obviously be heavier, you know, it's got more capacity. Uh, I think the pocket's pretty much the same. It's just a bigger pocket, similar setup with the TP4B. So, so, first impressions, it's pretty much the same, only wider. It's just got a, a slightly larger capacity, but it's still going to be a really mobile bag. Um, so, no, it's, it's going to be a good addition, I think. Um, I'm going to do a loadout next, so I'll get this video out just to. to Show anybody that's interested in this TP5B. Um, okay, so there's the rear. So it's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, so I've got them set up on their sides there, um, and you can see you can see the clear difference in the width yeah, of the bases here. It's obviously the TP4B and the 5B here. Um, Yeah, so overall first impressions, um, really happy with it because, as I've said before, the TP4B is one of my favourite Vito bags, um, barring my Tech LC, which is my favourite. But I could actually see me having a few of these. Um, I mean, this is this is large enough now for probably a, a mobile plumbing bag now. Um, I did try this as a mobile plumbing bag before, but it was just that little bit too small, so this might do the trick. Um, 
obviously a, a electrician's dedicated electrician's uh, mobile bag that's absolutely ideal um, so I would I think it'll be a good seller for Vito um, I did look at the I think it's a TPXL uh, with the cover on it um, as opposed to this um, but I, I just I prefer the open tote style uh, so you know this being open and a slightly larger bag I think this is going to be ideal uh, what I'll do I'll, uh, I'll load this bag out um, for what I'm going to use it for which is going to be just a gen general maintenance sort of bag initially uh, I think I'll probably end up with more though so I might have two or three of these in the future um, but I'll load it, out, load it up and I'll, I'll do a load out video of how I get it set up um, and the differences I find between this and this ok so I've given it the once over um, as I've said the only real difference is the width um, there's an additional pocket here these are wider this is pretty much the same, the pocket's the same, just wider uh, the side's exactly the same as the this is the TP4B and the TP5B so you can see the sides are pretty much identical apart from this heavy duty uh, loop, whatever that's for um, I think I'll use that for my impact driver um, we'll see uh, yeah so you can see the side view rear view just shows the width difference the other side Looking down on the TP4B, TP5B. Yeah, so I'll say it again, it's pretty much just wider, uh, got more capacity. But it's still that nice compact uh, size that we're used to with Vito. So. Yeah, so for me, as I've said, I've, I use the TP4 for a fen mobile fencing bag. But I think I've said in previous videos, it doesn't have a base, uh, the waterproof plastic base. So I have found um, it's not ideal for, for what I use it for, so what I'm going to do is use this as my mobile fencing bag now. And this will replace this, obviously. I um, don't know what I'm going to do with the TP4 yet. I might use it as a I don't know, little silicon in bag or something like that. Um, I'll figure that out. Anyway, hopefully this gives you an overview of the, the different sizes, anyway. Um, but um, this, this looks to be a good investment I think uh, obviously comes with Vito's 5 year warranty again uh, the first time I've ever got a free sticker from Vito so <laughs> they're up in the ante uh, free sticker and a, a blingy uh, tape loop alright guys well I hope this video gives you some idea um, what's new on the market um, I don't think these are available on Amazon yet. I got this from Beasley Tools, um, direct from their website. So I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, this, I can't remember the exact cost, I think it was £75 I think for this. Uh, to me, that's, having had these bags before, that's, that's a non-entity to me. Uh, £75 for this is well worth it, um, in my opinion anyway. Alright guys, thanks for watching, um, as always if you like this type of content uh, please subscribe, like the video and I'm sure we'll be back shortly <laughs> with the, the loadout of this, um, just explaining what I've done uh, between the two. Okay, thanks again, cheers.